Hey guys and welcome to another video here on Xerxes Animations. In this video I will tell you on how to make things fly with camera movement. I'm using the app Stop Motion Studio Pro and you couldn't tell that by the title. Before I get into this, a short recap on what I told you in my previous tutorial. So the first step is to throw the object and then, once the figure throws it, uh, make a blank picture without the object. Uh, so just a clean background. Then, put the object back in the camera's sight with maybe some clay under it so it's stabilized. And make a picture of that. Continue this process until the object reaches its destination. Then, you just have to move your finger over the clay to mask it. And once you've done that, delete all the pictures you took in between. Now, on to the next part. If you want to make things fly with camera movement, you basically have to do the same. Just move the camera every time you move the object. For this example, I'm going to take Jonathan over here and let him throw his knife in a zombie. I take a few pictures before Jonathan lets go of the knife, for a realistic knife throw. Then he lets go of the knife. Take a blank picture without the knife. Then take a picture with the knife. And put some clay under it for stabilization. Uh, then take another blank picture, but this time you move the camera a little bit. Uh, then take another picture with the knife, but don't move the camera. Uh, keep on doing this until the knife hits its target. One thing that is really important though, don't move the camera every picture. Only move it when you make a blank picture. So don't move it in the pictures with the object, in this case the ones with the knife in the picture. Then you need to mask the clay out of the pictures. I showed this process in my previous tutorial, so I won't really go into much depth here. Just move your finger over the area you want to delete. If you make a mistake, press the undo button. Uh, since the new update, you can now adjust the size of the gum and zoom in. When you're done, delete all the pictures you took in between, so the ones without the object. That's it, I hope this was helpful, and more tutorials are on the way. See ya!